but can you just break down the seven principles of HUNA? Because I, I love a quote in your book. You say, no problem can exist or would ever have been created if the person with the problem had known these seven things. And these are basically the seven principles of HUNA. If we can just kind of lay those out sure. for people and then ultimately you have to get into the book to really pull them out. And there's and there's exercises with the different things too that are really valuable and that, that we're really enjoying too. Yeah, so no problem would ever exist had the person with the problem known that they created it with their thoughts and beliefs. The world is what you think it is. That's the first principle that they are inextricably connected to every solution for it in the entire universe, because the second principle says there are no limits, which means that anything is possible if you can figure out how to do it. The third principle says that, uh, that uh, the problem wouldn't, if the problem is there, you could, that means you've been giving your focus and attention to something, give your focus and attention to something else that isn't related to your problem. The fourth principle says, you can only do all that right now. Now is the moment of power. The fifth principle says, is love present? Because that's gonna help a lot. Because if you're in love, you're in flow. That's aloha, uh, the fifth principle. The sixth principle says, you have all the power within yourself to do all that. And the seventh principle says, if it still doesn't work, you can still try something else. Effectiveness is the measure of truth. So that means you just haven't you just haven't found it. Try another process. Try something else. Be flexible. Mm -hmm. Nice.